Mark Snuffy is quite literally the most developed character in Bullock right now. And I mean, like, like people at this point, after this chapter, it's not even up for debate anymore. What's up, everybody? It's your boy Burex back again with another video today. We're going to be talking about Bullock chapter 229 today. Uh, but before that, I just want to say thank you guys so much for showing this last video love. That It really means the world to me. Um, makes me excited. So I just can't wait to keep on producing more content. So thank you guys so much. And uh, let's dive right in. Bullock chapter 229 entitled Underdog starts off with Mark Snuffy pulling up to just like this fire ass mansion of a house, right? And so we see him knocking. He's knocking. Nobody's answering. And so he eventually pops the door open himself. Let's be sure to pay attention to these words that are running across, you know, the, the panel here. It says, hey, Snuffy, we're the best players in the world. Plus, I'm dot 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 a genius chosen by God. And we get the reveal. I mean, what a way to start off the chapter. This is the scene of, you know, Mark seeing the passing of his friend McMoon. And uh, I mean, I, crazy, crazy opener to, to a chapter here. We then dive into some heavy backstory between, you know, Mark and Mick. And, uh, you know, he's saying, like, like, what are you doing? I don't I don't need this guy. And Mark's like, coach, you're pairing me up with this fool. Like, what's going on here? And so we can see things weren't always smooth sailing between these two. Right. You know, they're, they're mocking each other here, kind of sizing each other up like, ah, you know, you don't have any finesse, my boy. Like, this is so ugly. And then he's like, ah, no, nah, you need to give me a better pass. You know, just like, oh, it's your job. You know, just they're, they're going at each other. It's, it's fun. And, you know, that's just how relationships go. But as things would have it, of course, they eventually start getting along. They're they're partying together. They got some girls. They got some some drinks enjoying themselves they're vibing around in mark's car you know and they're they're winning football games right they're they're making it all happen but something went wrong so here we see mick and mark talking and mick's like hey you know what do you want to talk about and mark's like well you heard right we we both got dropped you know what i'm saying but i mean we did kind of fall off though right and mick who is quite drunk at this point is like ah ha ha you know we fooled around a bit much i guess we gotta you know flip the switch here he's not taking this you know seriously and mark's just like well no we can't do that here our relationship with the club and everything is ruined like the, there's nothing left here for us mark who's thinking for both of their futures is like you know look mick we got to start over from zero even if we got to play for you know some rinky dink team whatever and then mick is like dude idiot like we're kings bro like i'm not playing with a mid-ass team i'm only playing for you know top dogs mark senses this is going in the wrong direction he's like mick it's time to wake the fuck up my boy like we're not top dogs anymore bro we're we're second rate we're we're not anybody mark doubles down and says i'll just read this one because it's a really good quote he says football is a constantly shifting harsh competitive world it's a world where anybody can become a star overnight but the opposite can happen as well the game is constantly changing new players are constantly emerging we need to grow up mick it's time we choose a new more robust smarter future which is just a you know that's a straight up snuffy line. Notice here how his sweatsuit actually says logic man. I thought that that was a nice touch because, you know, he's the logical one. It makes sense. But Mick, who's been listening this whole time, he's in thought. He's thinking it through. But ultimately, he's just like, what the hell are you talking about? You know, what about our promise? You know, our dream? We, we want to win in all the big five leagues. We've only won in one. What about the other four of them? Mark responds, well, I mean, we can still do that, but not right now type shit. But Mick's just like boring he's not going for that he starts tweaking out at this point he's just like look if you're not gonna pursue the same dream as me then you can get the fuck out and then he goes on to call him a stinking underdog loser which is where we get our chapter title mark being obviously disrespected you know like crazy is like okay he's like cool screw you bro he's like you're a stupid brat he said don't come crying to me later and Mick's just like, ah, you know, I won't change the way that I live. But he's like, but listen, Snuffy, I'll tell you one last good piece of advice. Mick then drops this. He's like, you know, in any era, the people who ultimately change the world, you know, it's not the intelligent people who know it all, who are living their lives, you know, the right way or the safe way, you know, invention, revolution. Every innovation ultimately starts with some stupid brats, childish, nonsensical dream. Wow, we get sent right back into the fields with this, you know, this awesome panel. It's so sad though, you know, Mark's holding his friend. I mean, that was his boy, you know, that was his that was his brother. And I mean, it's sad stuff, man, just real sad. We're moving back towards the present and, you know, Mark's thinking in his head like, you know, I'm sorry, Mick. I'm so sorry that we couldn't share it together until the very end, you know. We we couldn't fulfill it together, but I will continue our dream and make it a reality. So Snuffy's looking back at the Ubers, you know, this is the team that he's created, right? But, ah, oh man, I cannot tell y'all how much I freaking love these post goal sequences where, like, they're celebrating, right? Like, you know, you got Lorenzo who's like, ah, oh, yeah, you know, and Aiku's like, bro, that goal was fucking amazing. You know, Ari's calling him the king. Like, they're just, they're loving on him. 
Snuffy has to pull up, of course, and he's like, you know, nice goal, Baro. He's like, you you got me on that one. You know, it's all yours. And we see Baro, you know, trying to rip rip Lorenzo off his back. Are you still, you know, still to celebrate, my boy? Snuffy's just like, there was no way I could have predicted that one. You know, your ego surpassed every one of my designs. You know, it's your win. You got the dub here. Baro, who's going to be himself, of course, is like, huh? He's like, dude, I don't need your praise. I don't need your analytics. You know, he's like, our partnership is over, Snuffy. But there is something that I want to say to you as a footballer. Retiring after this season just because you fulfilled a dream that you shared with your dead friend by winning, you know, all your trophies and shit? Is that your so-called way of adulting, you second rank striker? He's like, I'm not going to let you run away and disappear with all the trophies just yet. At least not while I'm still playing. Shout out to my boy Baro for sending this. He says, so you better not retire, Snuffy. You and I still have a score to settle. And of course, everyone's looking on like, hey, yo, like, what is he doing? But wait, pause, pause, pause. Did y'all notice? The star change timer is expired, like triple zeros. So that means the master strikers are out and their substitutes coming in now. This might be a good time to review this video that I made where we talk about who's on the bench and who might be coming in. So check it out. I think we got some good predictions. Back to the present, Mark's just like, wow, this kid really just told me to unretire. He's like, ha, but you know, in his head, he's like, hey, Mick, that device you gave me, I think I can finally believe you now. And he says, all right, kid, you're on. I won't retire. Now, everyone has to take off their hats to borrow because my boy is peak as shit. He just literally unretired the best soccer player in the world. And in case y'all forgot who Mark Snuffy is, he reminds you. He says, I'm the best player in the world on some Mark Snuffy the Phoenix type shit. And he also goes on to say, until the day that I die, I too am a goddamn brat who selfishly pursues his dreams. I love it. And so do the rest of the Ubers. People are like, OMG, this is amazing. Snuffy the Phoenix, that man Lorenzo is just like, you know what, Baro? I love you, bro. Like, I, I love you. Baro, of course, is locked in. He looks that man Isagi square in the face and says, the last goal, bro, like, let's settle this once and for all. And he calls him a scrub. Need that. We see that chapter 230 is entitled Buddy, and I'm thinking that this is going to refer to my man Hiorio. He's going to come in. He's going to make something shake for sure. And on the other end, for the Ubers, I think it's going to be that boy Ishikara Yukio finally coming in and making something happen. That is going to bring us to the end of our video, my dear friends. This has been your boy Burex. If you like what you heard here, subscribe, like, stick around, because I'm trying to go crazy. I'm trying to build something here, so I would really appreciate it. But much love, and I'll see you guys again very, very soon. Peace out.